Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the filth maxer has responded to me, calling me out in front of his old fan base. And we know how brutal this man can get, but the question is, how far has he gone this time? Curtis Price, I think our relationship needs a few grand rules. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. Mr. Fluff Dumpster, Mr. Fungi, Mr. Smeg has decided to battle with the best. Oh, you think you can take me on, can you? Punk. Following my recent videos on him, ladies and gentlemen, I thought we'd never hear from this man again, but here we are. Before the release of GTA 6. The Fluff Dumpster, if you don't know, is a ruthless man who's ruled out the task of showering from his entire life. He loves his pheromones, and his pheromones love him. And you might be asking, other than the smell of did anything good come out of this? Well, yes, actually, he had a line of women in his DMs waiting to submit to him. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. But there was indeed a price to pay, ladies and gentlemen, and he paid for it with hair greasy enough to fry chicken fillets. An infected tongue that probably started the Z virus. And a messed up foot that looks like it's contracted scarlet rot. And this is when I realized I'm not up against no man. I'm against the final boss of Nurgles. So the response is indeed something we're going to take a look at in this video. He mentions about me fancying him, and conversations were had about adding each other on Fortnite. That's some really sexy talk right there. Speaking of sexy, what do you guys think about this? The opposite of cooking pasta in my pants, ladies. Everyone likes pasta, including you. Even the Italian phobic like pasta. Got a little bit of pasta in my pants, ladies. Wow, yeah. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, all women across the nation are now pregnant. But as of today, this man is still pulling in crazy views from these TikToks. I mean, this TikTok alone has 7.7 .7 million views. And this, of course, only encourages his whole supreme super smeg growth. And there's a few more TikToks here he's posted. 1.9 million views, 3.8 million views, 1.1 million views, 2.5 million. I mean, he's just gotta be rich. He don't pay his water bill. But any of you that have seen my previous videos, you'll be happy to know that his dad has appeared on TikTok again. He's back. The lifeless carcass is back. He's also given us a foot update. Talks about some stinky fem cells and also about how God loves pheromones. And of course, the terrifying response to me. But for those of you who are new subscribed to the channel, this man has gone at least a whole month without showering. He's committed to a life free of H2O. His mum also appears in his TikToks, where she displays a level of concern for her son that smells like a literal human anus. I just don't understand why you won't clean your room. And you won't shower, and everybody Mom. blames me on life. As you can see, she seems genuinely upset about the poor choices her son has made. But how does the man himself respond? Well, he responded, ladies and gentlemen, by taking off his skin suit and devouring her limb by limb. That, did, that didn't happen, although it wasn't too far off. I pheromone, Max. I'm a classical male. I'm an INTJ. I'm an Omega male and I can't clean my room, Mom. Not when you're in here. Are you recording this? I gotta go. You're doing this for clout again, aren't you? Wow, finally, some answers. That explains so much, ladies and gentlemen. He's an INTJ. <laughs> uh, what does that mean? <laughs> the definition reads as follows introverted, intuitive, thinking. Judging. I'm sorry, but if you smell like a face hugger from Alien, you have no right to judge anybody. Apparently, he pursues knowledge and tends to be very logically minded. They are independent thinkers focused on solving the world's problems. Focused on solving the world's problems? This man creates problems, he doesn't solve them. And an independent thinker, apparently. No, I'm sorry, I refuse to believe that the Fluff Dumpster is anything other than a hive mind. And if you've seen my last video, you know this is more than a viable argument. Because the first person to be consumed by the hive mind was his dad. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. They've already started remastering Resident Evil 7. But no jokes aside, I'm not really sure what's going on with his dad. I mean, he looks absolutely high on life. I mean, he doesn't even look like he's living on the same rock as us. Just a completely different cosmos altogether. And as I mentioned, there has been an update, which we'll be taking a look at soon. But now you might be asking, how could this possibly get any worse than it already is? Well, it's quite simple, really. The man turned up on TikTok with an infected ass foot. But it didn't even look infected. It looked like it had been burned and charred. I mean, maybe you tried to cook it on the barbecue and feast on it. Yeah. Now you think that sounds far-fetched, don't you? Until I tell you that his mother exposed him for consuming his own peeling skin. Would you eat a piece of your own skin like the piece of your calf or someone else's? He's eaten his- so when he gets I'm sunburns, he does eat that. 
I don't know if that counts, but he eats the sunburn peeling. Well, I don't go outside anymore, Mom, so... Wow, how delicious. The human flesh. What a marvelous cuisine. I guess this is where we see the pursuit of knowledge come in, but it turns out that the human skin contains plenty of nutrients and protein. Protein? Huh. How interesting. Do you know how much money I could be saving on these protein shakes? I'll be back, guys. I'm just gonna go and chew through my epidermis layer and, uh, get big. But I bet my bottom dollar that the fluff dumpster is the kind of guy that eats his own scabs. Got his own scab collection. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a jar in the corner of his room labeled knee scabs and another one for elbow scabs. <laughs> okay, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, but you have seemed to caught me in my nightly garms. If I'm gonna be honest, I could not sleep because I fear this man will try to find me. And he seems like a smart dude. He'd probably just dig up my information somewhere from the internet. I mean, what if he hacks a data broker's website, digs up my information, finds my address, and comes to hurt me? Just wish there was a way to remove my personal information without doing any of the work. Well, thankfully, now there is. Thanks to today's sponsor, Incogni. Oh yes, Jerry. Incogni. What a magnificent idea. Incogni is a personal data removal service which removes any personal information that data brokers may be collecting. And the best part? This is done automatically. And the process that's involved in this is Incogni will reach out to data brokers on your behalf, requests our data to be removed, and battles any objections for us. Crikey, Jer. We don't even need to lift a finger. Yeah. I don't have fingers. And let's be honest with ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. We all sit there thinking, oh, there's no way our personal data could be breached. Well, mine did, and it wasn't the first time. We are providing you this notice to alert you of the possibility of a breach of your personal information. And to explain the steps we have taken to protect you against identity theft or abuse of the information. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't trust the steps you've taken. But I do trust Incogni. In fact, I'm already using Incogni. And honestly, it's just so quick at finding my stored personal data. Already, 46 removal requests have been sent. And within only a few minutes, 12 requests have been completed. Now the data brokers are no longer holding my personal information. I feel invincible. And you could argue, you know, you could do it yourself. But as you can see here, it would have taken me at least nine hours to do what Incogni did in about two minutes. I mean, you can even see where your info has been removed from. I don't even recognize a single website. Right there. I mean, look at all the chances the fluff dumpster had to find me. So, ladies and gentlemen, protect yourselves. Take back your personal data by clicking the link in my description and use code Jerry for 60% off an annual plan. With that said, I just want to thank Incogni for sponsoring today's video. They truly are doing God's work. Thank you, Incogni. But ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned, the man has an infected foot. We previously spoke about this in my last video. But hey, there are some new terrifying updates. Okay guys, giving you a quick rundown of what happened at school um, on Friday. I was beat up for my pheromone max in my feet and hatching my feet at school. I proceeded to hatch my foot at school. There's still a little bit of skin on the inside of the sock. And, you know, it has nice, a nice complexion. <laughs> Why does his foot look like that? I don't know what's worse, the foot or the tongue. And he talks about it as if it's a good thing as well. Oh, my foot looks like Hellboy's turd. Oh, it smells like rotting, decaying flesh. I'd say it's coming along rather nicely. Basically, there's this kid next to me, I'll call him T, and, and we were having circle time, and I put my feet out, and I stretched them because I've been sitting at my desk all day, and T, I, I touched him with my sock a little bit. And apparently, ladies and gentlemen, he touched T with his foot. So I think it's safe to assume that T is probably dead now. Yeah, he passed away and came back as a walker and massacred the whole hospital. Oh, actually, guys, I, 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 I think we got some live footage of what T looked like after he got touched by the deadly trench foot. Yeah, I mean, he, lo he looks healthy and... Very much alive. But don't worry, folks, because very soon, you'll all look just as healthy as T. Unfortunately, we don't have a choice in the matter. We're all going to mute it, because this guy's been licking dollar bills. But enough about his tongue fungus and the airborne virus that he's released, which is slowly killing off humanity. But I can't actually decide whether or not to look at the dad TikTok first or the response video he made to me. Which, of course, is the whole purpose of the video, is his response to me. But that response is going to be so sweet to look at, because I cannot believe we've got a response from the pheromone maxer. I just can't believe he responded, to be honest. We've been waiting for something like this, and I like the guy. I've made it very aware to all of you that I do like the man. I don't hate him. I'm a fan of him. I think his content's hilarious. What, Curtis, you're enjoying a man slowly killing himself? No, it's satire, guys. <laughs> it's satire. Right? I mean, surely his dad 
can't truly be like this. Let's find out together. But I think the whole purpose of this is reacting to one of the TikToks that their son made, which is him claiming that he is a, a thurophile, which is still not entirely sure what that means. Hi guys, Isaac's dad's gonna review one of his videos today. Um, he hasn't seen any of them yet, so we're gonna just go ahead and watch one of these. He has had a long day at work today, so... <laughs> <laughs> At least he's moving this time. It's good to know that he's dynamic. In the last video, we thought he was a static object. You know, part of the furniture. Why is he sticking his tongue out like that? Why is his eyes shut? Why has he got bags underneath him like he hasn't slept? The hive mind. He's controlling his brain. He has had a long day at work today, so he's gonna be a little tired, but uh, let's go ahead and get it going. So we have this one. So let's go ahead I'm and get this a going. a file, mom. What? Uh, okay, so I've had these feelings and thoughts and desires. The guy isn't even watching. <laughs> he's just out of his mind. I mean, he just doesn't know what the f**k's going on, does he? I mean, I'll have what he's taken, thank you very much. I want to focus on all the things that aren't really there. It was a little weird, but it's fun, you know? I'm proud of him. You're proud of him too, right, baby? Yeah. Oh my god. God. Yo, this guy needs to be hooked up to some IV A-stat. <laughs> Look how dry his lips are. He just looks severely dehydrated. The guy needs some fresh air, man. He's been stuck in the house just inhaling the smell of his son's smeg. <laughs> Silly father. I haven't washed my nutsack in about a month. Here, have a taste. Yeah, breathe it in. It'll all be over soon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, sometimes I have like really genuine concern for his dad. I'm not really sure what is happening in his household, but it's safe to say I'm severely concerned. I mean, there's not a single thought happening behind those eyes whatsoever. And his mother said that he had a long day at work as well. A long day at work doing f***ing what? In what world could a long day at work result in a man looking like that? With that said, ladies and gentlemen, I think we should take a little look at the response video he made. He tried to challenge the best of the best. And I won't stand for it. Well, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Jerry, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready, I am. But I think you're forgetting something. Ah, spot on, Jay. Yes, if you are new to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to reach 120k by the end of October. Make sure to turn those bell notifications on also. And if you don't like the videos, you can always unsubscribe. I'm just trying to prove to my mum that I'm a real YouTuber. She doesn't think I'm a real one till I reach a million, so... Now, time for the response. Let's get involved. Curtis Bryce, I think our relationship needs a few grand rules before it can even start. Oh, I mean, just the start of it. He had to start off the TikTok by saying my name and having the infected foot in view. The zombies are coming. <laughs> Plants vs Zombies reference there. But he started off by saying that our relationship needs to have a few ground rules. I'm interested to hear what his proposition is. I've seen the way you look at me, and I can tell in those eyes that you desperately want me. Kind of like how a homophobic person, maybe gay, a person who hates pheromones, might actually be a pheromone maxer secretly. Guys, he got me! <laughs> He's right, I, I, I am a secretly a pheromone maxer. Uh, I don't wipe my ass. I don't shower neither. And these pheromones that I managed to conjure has got a lot of the ladies to notice me. Now I just need to find a way to stop them running away from me. <laughs> Sounds so psychotic. And also, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time I've ever seen this, but somehow his infection has magically traveled from the left foot to the right one. I've seen the way you look at me, and I can tell in those eyes that you desperately want me. And I, I, I mean, what is he all about? <laughs> he says he can see it in my eyes. Really? And what exactly can you see in my eyes? Me and Mr. Fluff together, love and happiness. Um, I want to see your hogs, I want to see your feet pheromones, and I want, I think it's an exquisite part of the feet pheromone experience, is seeing those hogs. He, he what? He wants to, wants to see my hogs? Oh shit! <laughs> Assuming hog means feet, right? He, he wants to see my trotters. Yeah, that's just not gonna happen. <laughs> but just watching this response and listening to this man address me, uh, but just watching this man address me is making me feel unclean. It's making my brain slowly shut down. I, I feel like I need to shower right now. Okay, so I just wanna get some grand rules and bullet points out first. You must call off your hounds. I see your trolls in the comments every day. It was kind of like with August the Duck and his troll brigade. It's kind of the same thing. Stop it. And then he's telling me to call off my hounds. When he says hounds, he means you guys. I mean, what is this? Is this called Zombies Round 6? And I think that you should get a fur art piece of you commissioned. I think 
that would really help me get off if you were a furry too. You know I'm a furry file. No. <laughs> no. Please. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> this is sickening. I should become a furry so we can date. I just feel like this man is trying to inappropriately touch me through the screen. <laughs> I don't feel well. I will never give in to the pheromones. I won't. I deny the pheromones. I cannot become this. Why do you want to date me? <laughs> I love this guy. What if I just rocked up in the next video in a full furry suit? Would, would you guys find me attractive? Would, would that be something you're into? Ladies, comment down below. You want to see me dressed up as a, a hound? And then he goes on to talk about us having Fortnite dates and that I should contact him. Well, well I did contact you, but you ignored me twice. That really upset me, Arthur. I will be sharing my Fortnite ID with you so we can have Fortnite dates. Contact me. That one's for you. <laughs> Did he just blow those fair ones on me? He just blew me a kiss. I feel unclean. I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> Well, what a very interesting, sexually charged, flirtatious response. <laughs> I can't say I've ever experienced the feeling of a man desiring me before. And I have to admit that I hate it. Not that there's anything wrong with men desiring other men, of course, but it ain't me, unfortunately. On a Tuesday during daylight hours is crazy. <laughs> These comments are wild. That's... that's trench foot. Holy f***. How the fuck you get trench foot in 2024? <laughs> Oh man, it's the funniest thing on TikTok is when people seriously debate if the most obvious satire is real or not. Yeah guys, I mean obviously Isaac the Fluff Dumpster, it's satire, he's kidding around like he, he doesn't actually want to date me. At least I hope not anyway. I find his content hilarious. I mean I comment on most of his TikToks just laughing because it's just ridiculously so unrealistic but hilarious you know what i mean so thanks to the fluff dumps ladies and gentlemen really appreciate the response and it's probably made my year with that said ladies and gentlemen check out my other videos there'll also be a link in the description to all the pheromone maxa videos i've made hope you enjoyed the video subscribe see you all in the next one